Okay, I'm peering into the back of this van and I'm moving or getting rid of this carpet and whatever this other underlayment is here. Uh, this was cut to fit, it looks like. And I don't think I'm gonna be using that. I gotta put some uh, sound deadening and some insulation in here. So I'm taking a look at what I can do. I found the Econo line emblem here, but not the 150. Let me set that to the side. Uh, so let me go over to the other door. It's been a while since I had this dual key deal where the square key is the uh, ignition key and the round key is the uh, the other doors. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, I do see what the lady who owned this was doing before. Something to do with plants. There are a lot of bits and pieces of uh, plant material in here. Ah. And lots of carpet. Probably gonna, I'm gonna have to take that carpet out at my uh, now this is actually screwed down so I'm gonna have to unscrew this bits and pieces but I'm trying to get through and take a look at the actual surface here I do have some rust there. It doesn't look like it's rusted through. But there is some rust there I didn't expect. But not much. Yeah. Well, that's not going to be too bad. I'm not going to uh, video all of this process. I'm just going to rip it out. And then tire the spare doesn't have much tread. And the primary tires have some, but not a lot. So I'm probably going to, I'm going to have all of those, all, all new tires put on here. I got the, the surface rug pretty much uh, up. I have to drag that out. So there's going to have to be a mighty good hosing out here. Unfortunately, I might have to take this to a uh, to a car wash once I've got all the big pieces out. Uh, once I get rid of this. Uh, this trashy old uh, rug and then we'll see it then we begin the clean out process fun 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 well I have dumped the carpet off off at the uh, apartment dumpster because it's June in Texas and when it's June in Texas it does not get cool right now it's 90s outside so it makes it pretty much like an oven in this uh, in this van so I'm going to I'm going to be working in very short stints here all right, I can't say that I have made a great advancement, but I've got all the covering off the floor so I can see all the defects. And there are quite a few screw holes in here. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna handle those yet. I could just put screws in them and uh, just simply screw it down. Uh, not too sure. 
I could also probably use some JB Weld on some of the holes. The holes in there of the side are pretty easy to handle because I can put back either tape or metal tape on the back and back support them and then put the JB Weld on top. Uh, those on either side, you might not be able to see those holes too well. There's some right there in the middle that I might just need to leave alone. I don't see a lot of holes in the back of the van. Uh, most of them are up here uh, just behind the uh, passenger and driver's seat. Uh, I did cut off the rug as I sh may have shown you in another video. I'm not sure how that one's going to be edited yet since this is going to be part of the video. So it's a good start. I still got some carpet up here against the walls. Uh, got to tear it down. That's not a big deal. Uh, the uh, support struts are got a few holes in them, but I think I might be able to either use the holes that are already in there or put a few more and not affect structure that much. Uh, of course, the doors don't have their panels on it, so uh, I'll just stuff those with some uh, with some insulation and some sound deadeners, and that's basically where I am at this point. So, not a bad little advance. I did get a chance to drop those off at the dumpster. Probably make the apartment where I live very unhappy, but they can stick it where the sun don't shine. <laughs> anyway, I will talk to you later.